be at the Boilermaker Expo on the couch, and we are with... Chris Doherty. Um, I run a school for wilderness survival and primitive living skills in the Adirondacks called Chris Doherty's Wilderness Adventures. Now, what are some things that we could do at the Wilderness Adventures? Though? Well, you can learn how to stay alive, for one, if you're lost in the woods, your car breaks down, or your snowmobile breaks down. Um, or you could learn to live like Native Americans did for thousands of years uh, before there were supermarkets or grocery stores. Electricity. Now, are there adventures that we can you go on as a student? Are there classes? How does it all work? Okay, so this year, all course, all classes are on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, 9 a.m. till overnight Saturday into Sunday till five, about 5 p.m. Um, you bring your own food, some basic camping gear, and I will be teaching you as much as I can for that whole time. Wow, that sounds pretty cool. It's, and this is a great place to do it because we have all of the spots that are right in our backyards. Yeah, you, got, you have uh, 6,000 or 6 million square uh, can't, six, 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 yeah, six million square feet of uh, forest, royal forest in the Adirondack Park, um, and then thousands more in the Tug Hill Plateau region. So it's prime uh, wilderness um, for this kind of things. There's no lack of place to go to learn some of the skills that no, you learn. No, no. Now, do you have some tricks for us now? Okay. <laughs> so, in my, in my school, you'll be learning how to make cordage or rope. Mm -hmm. This is um, very strong. Give it a tug. There's, even if I can't break it, it's very strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's, made, it's made from this plant called the milkweed plant, and it has some very strong fiber. You can make a bowstring with this. It can, um, you can pull a bow, make it set your traps with this rope. Mm -hmm. Basically, here's, here's what it looks like if it's green. When it's dried, it looks like this. You, you want to break down the, the stalk like this. Take off all the, the chafe like that. Mm -hmm. And all these little fibers that you see here, you just work them in your hands like this and, and you're gonna will not into the and you're gonna do a two ply reverse wrap with this to get the cord to come out like that now how long would it take to make something like this um, if you have all your material with you ready to go all your stalks of milkweed it might take maybe 15 20 minutes oh so not long at all it's no not a long process. no and you can use it for like shoelaces if your shoelace breaks mm -hmm. for a bow drill fire if you're trying to get a friction fire going or to tie a shelter together very cool. Now, now what do we have here? This is a hand drill set. Mm -hmm. um, this can be made from any wood. Any. Um, this is a plant stock called mullen. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. Um, basically, what you have is a fireboard with holes in here, and you put your stock in the fireboard. Yep. Do you want to? Yeah. Put it on there. And it's it's a friction fire set. It's based on speed and pressure. And so basically, let me take my uh, fire piston off. Just put it off the table. <laughs> <laughs> and you basically just run your hands up and down. And you keep it going, keep it hot in there. And eventually, you do it long enough. If you, if you have your hole the right size to match your spindle and everything correct, mm -hmm. you, could, you could get a fire going in 30 seconds to a minute. Wow. Um, basically, the, the coal, the, the wood ash gets so hot, up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, and then a red coal, glowing coal pops out, and then you put that in your hand and then blow it into flame. Mm -hmm. It's magic. I mean, kids love this. Um, and you can make, each one of these holes represents a fire. You can get a fire from every hole out of here. Um, it's great if you lose your uh, matches, um, and it's something, it gives you self-reliance going out into the wilderness. And so these are two things that you can learn from going to these courses among many other lessons that you'll learn throughout the weekend? Yeah, every, every course has um, a new shelter you'll build yourself and live in mm -hmm. for overnight. Um, you'll make a fire, a new method, whether it's fire plow, fire piston, um, like this. Uh, right here. Where is it at? Fire piston. This is based on the um, diesel engine and pressure. You put your piece of tinder in there, pop it in there, and pull it out and you'll have a glowing coal at the very end. So um, new fire techniques with each course, new uh, shelter building, um, uh, finding water and navigation, all new for each course. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's that hard. is yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've been doing this for about 20 years, and um, I have a lot of experience in mountain survival, desert survival, and uh, high plains survival. So, well, okay. So there is the one question that everyone has to be asked when you're on the couch, and that would be, what do you love about Utica? Uh, I, th I think it's the people. They're just so, um, there's a lot of athletic people around here and outdoorsy oriented people. They really like my courses. They really, they enjoy the outdoors, a lot of hiking trails, just um, 
Utica is just a, you know, a few steps away from the Adirondack Park, and so it's it's perfect, perfect location. So if there were some of those people out in the community that wanted to get in touch with you, how would they do that? Um, you can reach me um, on my website, um, cdwildernessadventures.com, um, and then on there I have contact information. You can call me or email me um, or send me a letter. Wow. Well, that's exciting, and it's okay. such a great school. I think that's really cool, and now I know what to do if I ever get stuck in the woods somewhere. Yeah. Well, maybe for a little bit, at least for fire, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. thank you so much for being on the couch. Here's a thank you card. Okay, thanks. And I hope to see you sometime soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs>